Hey, it's Colin Smith here, and welcome to another episode of Tip Tuesday. Have you ever seen that Jerry Seinfeld ad? You know, the one where he goes to put some gas in a car, and he wants to get exactly $5, not $4.99 or $5.01, and he's kind of squeezing it because it's kind of the joke? Well, do you ever get that in Photoshop when you're trying to apply an adjustment, and it goes too fast or too slow? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. So here we have an image that I did. I call this one Killer Kitty, and uh, it's just a composite I did for fun. And this is actually how the world's really going to end. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so here we go. We've got this layer. What we're going to do is we're going to go filter, and I'm going to go down to the blur gallery and apply a field blur. Now, I'm just using this for the sake of illustration. It could be any adjustment. So what we're going to do is we're just going to throw this in the background, and then I'm going to click on the front, and I can reduce this. So I can go in here, and I can move these adjustments. Let's select the back one here by clicking and dragging. But notice it's a little bit cumbersome. So whenever you see a slider here and you see a word, you can actually click on the word here and go backwards and forwards. And this is a scrubby slider. And, uh, and so you can just scrub on there and you'll see this all over Photoshop. Well, you know, that's kind of cool, but here's the real tip. If you hold down the Alt or the Option key, as I slide this, notice it's now moving it at one tenth of the speed. So you can get exactly the setting you want with complete precision. And there might be other places, let me just apply this right now, where say for, uh, for example, we're gonna go under the image adjustment and I'm gonna apply a shadow highlight. So when we're in the shadow highlight, there's other adjustments here, like maybe the black clipping, and we can scrub on this thing all day long because it takes forever to get anywhere. So if you hold down the shift key, and this is the second tip, this thing will move 10 times the speed. And notice now how quickly we can go in and we can move it. So that's the shift key for turbocharge. Or you can use the option key for snail mode or just click and drag on any text. Now, if you see a piece of text and there's a field there and a scrubby slider doesn't work, hit the control or the command key and that will force it to work with scrubby sliders. So I hope you enjoyed this week's tip. Uh, don't forget, subscribe right here on the channel so I can give you new tips every week. And don't forget, visit Photoshop Cafe for a ton of great free tutorials. Until then, I'll see you at the cafe.